Staying in South Africa, the country's jobless rate jumped to a record 32.6% in the first quarter of this year on the back of a prolonged COVID-19 lockdown. It is likely to jump further after the worst protests in years sparked by former President Jacob Zuma's arrest left many businesses looted, destroyed and burnt to the ground. But there is hope. According to a new World Bank report, young entrepreneurs and startups could be key to solving the problem. CGTN's Julie Shire takes a look. Punani Shikweni lives in Johannesburg's impoverished Alexandra Township. She was determined not to be discouraged by unemployment and started a small home sewing business with her husband's help in 2014. It pushed me so hard when I look at the, the youth of Alexander, no, no jobs and women suffering. So that's why I created this. Then I, 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 I call some ladies to start the business and now it's, it's, it's operating. Chikweni pushed on with the help of NetCare Hospital Group. Business hit a brief hurdle during the COVID-19 lockdown, but she bounced back up quickly. We started to, to make more cloth masks last year. We worked very hard. The first order that we, we received after the president announced is 10,000 masks for NetCare. Then when we busy started uh, on 10,000 masks for NetCare, then a, a, Yes, yes, employment services, and call me again. They say, no, example, uh, Alex Mall, they want 20,000 mask for Alex Sopas. So we're busy last year. Kluvoku has since signed a contract to produce hospital supplies. It's moved to bigger premises under the wing of the Presidential Youth Employment Services Initiative. The small business employs 30 young people and trains dozens of others. If you are young like us, you're going to commit yourself into crime and do wrong things and smoke drugs. So here is better because of you make yourself proud because of you are working and you gain more experience. It started by training me on the machine. I was sewing before, but I pushed myself to learn how to cut the design and drawings. Recent civil unrest and looting has worsened the crisis. 150,000 more jobs are at risk after thousands of stores and warehouses were destroyed in Hauteng and KwaZulu-Natal. So it was a very stressful phase and it still is right now. Having a job at this time is very, is a great privilege, you know, and having a job that I, that links with whatever that I wanted to do, my career path is fashion design. So me working here is a, a great benefit because uh, at some point I'm going to be uh, a shop owner. The World Bank says not all is lost despite many challenges. Dozens of startups like Hruvruku can help arrest joblessness if the right ecosystem is created for entrepreneurs to thrive. Julie Shara, CHTN, Cape Town, South Africa.